Bring in Dr. Didi Nurakar, a physician at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Nurakar, I, I want to start with something that Jake was just talking about, and that was about needing a booster shot to be considered, uh, quote unquote, up to date. Can you talk to us about just how important that is? You know, Morgan, the study upon studies have shown us that the booster is critical. A study just last week found a 20 fold increase in antibody protection with the booster. So we really do need to think about changing that definition of fully vaccinated from two shots to three shots, because all of the evidence is pointing to this. And I mean, Dr. Nurakar, is there, though, any guidance on when you should get a booster if you recently did have COVID or even felt those COVID symptoms? Yes, the CDC has lots of guidance and very clear guidelines on getting a booster, even if you've been recently infected, based on symptoms, severity, and treatment. The reason boosters are so critical, even after a recent infection, is because boosters offer broad immunity and broader immunity than getting infected and longer lasting immunity. And Dr. Nurek, I mean, Jake and I were just talking about how the recent data and even sort of the the attendant laws that are now changing in response to that data feels like we are finally turning the corner in a more final way. What are you feeling as a physician? I mean, are, are you feeling that? Is the data supporting that for you or is that just kind of anecdotal on our part to citizens? I think we are seeing glimmers of hope, Morgan, but we are so not out of the woods right now. You know, San Francisco is an outlier. It has a high level of vaccinations, two mm. doses, and the highest rate of boosters, 60 plus percent boosting in that city. So it is an outlier and it is premature for other cities to employ removing mask mandates right at this time, particularly because the winter surge is still continuing. All right. Dr. Didi Nurkar for us there. Dr. Nurkar, thank you for joining us.